Hi again, General Math students. In this video, we're going to start looking at geometric sequences. Now, we've looked closely at arithmetic sequences in the previous videos. That's where we have a common difference between terms. In, uh, in geometric sequences, we have a common ratio between terms. So what that means is that if you take consecutive terms uh, and divide them, say these two here in this sequence, 10 over 5, which gives 2. If you do that again for the next consecutive terms, you'll get the same uh, result each time you divide. So in this case, 20 over 10 will also give 2. And you can see that uh, 20, uh, 40 over 20 gives the same again. So that's where we see this common ratio. So clearly what's happening in this sequence to get from one term to the next is they're doubling or multiplying by 2 each time. So that's the common ratio for this sequence. So the general form of a geometric sequence is given by Tn equals A R to the N take 1. So A is still the first term, just like with a, uh, an arithmetic sequence. And that R value is the common ratio between terms. So what do you multiply by to get from one term to the next? Let's look at the example here. We have this geometric sequence and they want us to write this out to the seventh term. So if you're unsure about what is being uh, what each term is being multiplied to get to the next one uh, you can do a, that little division that we did before so you might be able to see here what the common ratio is and you might want to pause the video and, and write out to the seventh term yourself but just in case you can't see if we do 15 over 5 that gives us 3 and 45 over 15 also gives 3. So clearly the common ratio is equal to 3. We're multiplying by 3 each time. So that means we're going to go 135 by 3, which gives uh, 405. And if we multiply that by 3, 1215. And that by 3 is 3645. So there are the next three terms in that sequence to get to the seventh term. Okay, rule for the sequence. So in general, we have this. So what is the first term in our sequence? There it is, it's five. And we already determined that the common ratio is equal to three. So we just write that out with the A value and the D value in there. And there we are, we're done. Uh, unlike arithmetic sequences, uh, there's no simplification to this. This is how it is. That's the, that is the sequence rule written down. Okay, we're going to verify part A by substituting in n equals 7 here. So t7 is 5 by 3 to the 7 take 1. Okay, so if we put that into the calculator, 3 to the power of 7 take 1 gives the 3645 that we found earlier. Okay, let's look at the next couple here. The tenth term of this sequence. Now you might want to pause the video and, uh, and try this one yourself. It's all about finding the sequence rule and then substituting into that. I'll have a go at it afterwards. Okay, so let's see this sequence. Our A value, the first term is 6,400. Okay, and our common ratio, how are we getting from one term to the next? Well, if we're unsure, let's divide terms and see if we get a repeat. 0 0.5 and 1,600 over 3,200 also gives 0 0.5. So clearly our common ratio is 0.5. We're multiplying by 0.5 each time. So the sequence rule is this. 
and when n equals 10, t10 is 6400 by 0.5 to the power of 10 take 1. Okay, so what do we get when we put that into the calculator? Twelve point five. Okay, this one here, interesting one. What's happening? Okay, well, firstly, first term is six. Now you see this alternating negative. Well, what does that indicate? Let's have a look. Negative twenty-four over six is negative four, and ninety-six over negative twenty-four is also negative four. So. When you multiply by a, a negative common ratio, you get this alternating sequence, alternating between positive, negative, positive, negative. So the sequence rule is this. And the 12th term, when n equals 12, t12 is 6 by negative 4 to the 12, take 1. Okay. 6 by negative 4, 12 take 1, gives negative 251, 65824. I'll leave that one there. I won't bother writing that down. You can see that on the screen. Okay, so those are geometric sequences. Go ahead and look at the description for the video and uh, let's start working with some of these.